everybody. Nancy here from Fancy Nancy Diamond Painting with another diamond painting unboxing for you. So I'm, it makes me happy when my unboxing is actually a box and not a bag. I know it's the same thing. A diamond painting is a diamond painting, but to me this means it's a little bit bigger and a little bit fancier. The smaller ones, they, they tend not to put in boxes. Although you, I can't say they ever do it one way or another because it's up to the company how they package it and how much they want to put into it for you. But um, there we go. There's a box. Nice heavy duty. A little bit smushed. That's what it's there for. I want my boxes smushed, not my diamond paintings. Okay, I see drills. There's drills. Oh, pretty colors. I see a toolkit down in there. Come on, come on out. There's a toolkit. And there is the canvas. That is everything you should get in a diamond painting kit. If you get just a canvas with no drills, you write to them right away, you get your drills. Because you can't just go out and buy these. I mean, you can, but it's a whole big ordeal. Your tool kit, kit should always come. Uh, this is a standard tool kit. It's a green boat with the cutout. That's what you put the, the drills in when you're working. Um, pink wax, and that goes into the little pink pen. Um, there's a lot of options with pens. You can check out my other video about um, diamond painting drill pen extravaganza. I gave lots of options and things if you want to get fancy with your pens. And we like to get fancy because I am Fancy Nancy. Um, here's the bags. You get some bags and you get, they gave tweezers. Um, if you don't have a storage system, you can use those bags. You should get everything you need. If you don't, you go back to them. Oh, oh this is so pretty. This is a 40 by 40 full drill square. And she's just this beautiful little unicorn. Look at those colors. Look at them. I will put the image up for you. You can see all the pretty colors in my drills. Pink and purple and red and green and maroon. A lot of white background. Which is fine. You know, when you learn about design, you learn that negative space is what makes things stand out. So sometimes it's real busy and colorful and that's fine, but sometimes you need to have negative space behind it, which is all this white background. Oh, they cut the paper for me, how nice. To really make the color stand out. Oh my gosh, so the white background is symbol number seven. And I'm going to be doing seven for days. But look how beautiful she is. And of course it's a girl because she's beautiful. If, she, if it was handsome, it would be a man, right? Is that sexist? Maybe it is. Wow, I am impressed. This is just gorgeous. Let me finish pulling up the paper. It really helps... Take that curl out and any wrinkles and uh, you can really lay it flat. Do you hear BB woofing? She sees, what do you see BB? Bird. She's telling it to go away. She really does think she's rough, a rough and tough girl. But she's not. She's just a little love. She's my little love. There we go. I'm very happy with this one. I hope you are too. And uh, tune in for my next video. And you 
take care. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, have a great day and happy diamond painting. Bye-bye. Thank you.